In this video, I'm going to show you how to read and write VIN number and injector codes using Alpha OBD. I'm connecting to the uh, Wi-Fi network. Now I'm connecting to the uh, Alpha OBD to the ECU. After connected, uh, click on or tap on the, uh, the icon with the open hood for active diagnostic. Scroll all the way to the bottom uh, to an option called VIN Write. So I have prepared a an email that I can copy and paste to my phone or from my phone uh, about my bin or the bin of my truck. So I can just copy and paste it to Alpha OBD. It took a couple of try. Uh, Alpha OBD is sometimes kind of intermittent or actually for most things a lot of OBD writer or reader uh, are erratic uh, with their performance and their reliability so this one writing the uh, VIN took a couple of tries. If your tries are not successful, try to disconnect and reconnect again. Sometimes that actually makes it work better. After you think that you have successfully written the VIN, um, tap on the battery icon and read the system ID. This is where you can confirm if your VIN has been written correctly. The system ID will show both your old VIN and your new one. It is normal for the old VIN to show up as uh, original. And um, if you, as long as you see your new VIN, that means you have uh, written it correctly. I'm repeating the process because uh, the first time I did it, it still did not write the VIN properly. As you can see, it keeps throwing uh, failed error messages, but uh, just keep trying, writing it, uh, disconnect, connect again, keep writing it. I think it took me about five, six try before uh, it actually went successful. And uh, you don't have to turn off and on um, the vehicle anymore. Uh, just keep trying it with uh, connect and disconnect. I think this is because the ECU is actually uh, maybe doing different things behind the background and uh, it somehow probably conflicts with what we're trying to do and tell it uh, to do like writing bins, etc.
Here it shows uh, two different bins, and as you can see, it uh, has been successfully written. So this is a success. Um, once you see this, um, obviously you don't have to keep repeating anymore. So you can just uh, go now to writing the injector codes. So go to the active diagnostic again and scroll down to about 70% towards the bottom of the menu you'll see uh, something to do with the uh, injector codes one two three four five six i have six cylinders and um, i'm doing the same thing um, copying from my email the injector codes that i read and pasting it here if you don't know how to read your injector codes you can look at my uh, other video where i have instruction about how to read injector codes using alpha obd is really easy uh, so what I did was uh, read it, um, then I um, create an email to myself, email it to my phone, and so I can simply do a copy and paste. You need to write the injector codes one by one, and um, each time after it being successful, come back out to um, the menu, go to the next injector code, write it again, and uh, that's how I did it. Uh, there's a lot of failure error messages like you see here. Uh, that's okay. Just keep uh, writing it. And um, uh, later on, I will show you how to confirm uh, by reading the injector code and to see and confirm that they have been written into the ECU.
now we're going to try to read the uh, injector codes. Um, you would click on the uh, read system status and a whole lot of information will show and you keep scrolling down um, somewhere around I would say 50% of the entire page you will start seeing all your injector codes all listed um, one after another so right there you'll see um, all the injector codes so if you see the injector code that you have written there and that's pretty much confirmed that you have um, now written all your injector codes thank you for watching i hope you find this video useful if you do please give it a like and if you like this kind of content please subscribe to my channel thank you